Okay, today on my love-hate vlog, we are revisiting my Gibson uh, Melody Maker with the two P90s in it. Um, it's still red. I haven't painted it yet. Uh, still working on that. And, well, I'm pretty sure I, I think I'm going to paint it, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it this cherry red color. Um... I did change the strings, and I changed the tuners to the uh, the Planet Waves locking tuners that I said I was going to in my original video. And let me tell you something. This guitar screams. It this uh this bridge pickup is exceptionally like screamy it's like it's like a woman on her period all pissed off and yelling at you it's that annoyingly loud and high pitched it's almost unbearable i kind of don't like it i mean you got to roll off the tone and i mean it's really cool because then it gives you like You've got a wah cock back and everything, and it's just, it's really awesome, all the different tones you can get out of it, but, um, this pickup on high gain is almost unbearable, and you're like, ah. So, yeah, I, I mean, I personally prefer it on the neck pickup. The neck pickup is great, um, gives you wonderful creamy bluesy goodness and it, I mean you can do it on high gain you can do it on no gain on medium gain is really where this thing shines um, so the neck and the middle position are really my two favorite positions on this guitar um, obviously I've changed the strings to a 10 to 52 gauge uh originally it still had the the strings that came on it when i got the guitar used which were like 10 to 46 and i don't know but somehow like the intonation is slightly different even though this is a just a wraparound tailpiece um It's, it's cute. I mean, yeah, you can tune it to like the fifth fret or the second fret by octaves. And I mean, it just really kind of depends on where you want to play it on the neck to like how far out of tune you want it to be in certain areas. And then, I don't know, you just kind of figure it out. But I may upgrade this to like a, a compensated tailpiece um, that may occur. Um, I'm not too sure. I mean, I kind of like the way it is, you know, where it's lightly out of tune just because it's not compensated. It's not intonated in any way, shape, or form. I mean, it's kind of just the way it is. I mean, you just kind of got to play around and just kind of like fudge it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You just kind of got to be like on your game and just kind of bend the note a little bit to just get it to sound right. And, you know, it gives you like those passing tones and... You know, just play with some vibrato, and then, you know, it, you'll hit the, the fluttering effect, and everything will be great. But, yeah, I mean, it sounds amazing. I love, I really love it in the neck position and in the middle. The bridge pickup is really harsh and ice-picky. I may, uh, may consider putting in, like, a... 
DiMarzio Tone Zone. I believe they have them in a P90 uh, like soap bar format. So that would be pretty cool. Try that out. And yes, I mean, that is my Gibson Melody Maker with the locking tuners by Planet Waves. It's got my 10 to 52 gauge GHS TN2 boomers that I love. Um, really excited about this guitar. I love it. Um, the only thing I hate is like the bridge pickup because it's just overbearing. And, you know, just kind of got to play around and compensate for the tailpiece on my own. So, I mean, if you have one of these guitars, you know what I'm saying. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you do. You know, how you play with a guitar that's just wrap around and, you know, no, uh, no intonation. But anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you. Have a great day.